Engineers and development stakeholders all over the country gathered for the 2021 Engineering Conference and Annual General Meeting of its society, the Nigerian Society of Engineers, NLC. The well-attended event was held at the International Conference Center, ICC, Abuja, from Monday 6th to Friday 10th December 2021. Engineers, friends and other professionals took time out to attend and share in the moment that afforded them learning, a platform to chart a new course towards the betterment of the nation using the engineers' scepter. For the people of Akwaibom, the event sparkled even brighter as three of their illustrious sons made resounding appearances. First, the chairman. 2021 Conference Planning Committee, Engineer Etido Iyang, FNSC, an accomplished engineer of global repute with imprint dotting the national landscape, has deservedly earned the respect and admiration of people beyond the shores of Nigeria who have followed both his professional career and political voyage. He brings energy and speaks a language that generates appetite for learning and hard work transmuting plain conversation into ideas that inspire the innovative undertakings. It is no wonder why he was saddled with the honorous task of bringing to life the dreams of the Nigerian Society of Engineers and for the 19th edition. The theme of this conference, as you all know, is expansion of energy mix for national economic growth. On Agreb, this rather very apt team, in a way, coming up on the heels of engineering, education, and lifelong learning opportunities for sustainable development, tending to consolidate on last year's national emphasis of our society. The conference will assuredly, in more ways than one, provide opportunities for the delegates and stakeholders to make the much desired remarkable contributions to address almost insoluble energy problem and in so doing help in providing sustainable economic prosperity as well as advancing te uh, technology in our dear country. The challenge of meeting the growing energy demand in Nigeria is huge in the sense that while seeking for sustainable energy supply and making energy choice the environmental problems of fossil fuel need to be considered the way forward therefore is achieving energy availability economic growth and sustainability is to timelessly turn serious attention to adopting a new viable way of expanding the energy mix of our country. Distinguished colleagues, this is perhaps what would have enforced the choices of the technical subcommittee of our committee in achieving or in arriving at these appropriate papers to be presented as well as engaging the facilities or the faculties. While we commend their astuteness. I am hopeful that this would moderate the tone of what 
as professionals and development stakeholders we will be addressing at this conference. Let me sincerely thank and congratulate the Enugu branch of our society for planning, for playing host, for playing host to this auspicious conference this year. I welcome you all to call CD21 and I want to seize this opportunity to thank Mr. President on behalf of the CPC and the entire council for giving us this opportunity to serve. Thank you. Enjoy the conference. Next is Engineer Uwem Okoko, an accomplished civil engineer, construction manager, and managing director, Hensec Integrated Services Limited. Engineer Uwem Okoko is recognized for his numerous contributions across different spheres, from building young engineers to employing over 800 persons, construction and dualization of roads, offering free medical and surgical outreaches for Nigerians spanning 10 decades and growing the Nigerian Society of Engineers in Akwaibom State, among so many other philanthropic endeavors. Testimonies abounds here. I want to congratulate uh, Engineer Uwem Okoko. Uh, he has been uh, a solid and a very good mentor to the young engineers who are upcoming. Because what he has done so far, you know, and it's, 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 it needs to be applauded yeah, by the Nigerian Society of Engineers. That was why he was deemed fit to be given that award as a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. The professionalism he has expressed, he has displayed in this chosen profession. And the things that accompany this professionalism. They are not common to these things. They don't happen all the time. They are very rare occurrences. It is on account of these numerous achievements that engineer Owem Okoko is being conferred with the prestigious fellow of the society. Character in learning and in, in every conceivable parameter. And that's why today, Mr. President, will be conferring on them the highest honor of the society, and that is the fellowship of the society. Let's appreciate them as they take their seats. Put, let's put our hands together for them, please. Another Akwaibom son honored by the Nigerian Society of Engineers is Engineer Ekpeyong Ekpeyong, the Director of Operations East of AYF Development Nigeria Limited and the International Coordinator of the New Breed for Sustainable Development, a foremost socio-political group in Akwaibom State. Engineer Ekpeyong Ekpeyong is honored with the Presidential Award by the President, Nigeria Society of Engineers, Engineer Babagana Muhammad, FNSC, on behalf of the engineering body, NSC, in recognition of his outstanding contributions to the development of young people in the state and his contribution to the development of youths in progress of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Akwaibom State, Akwaibom State, Society of Engineers, Akwaibom. Through his performance and impact, he has built a great career for himself doing the following. Site engineer in Sinoeng Nigeria Limited, project manager in Lekki Concession Company, pavement engineer at Aquahawk Consultant, and currently the director of operations East at AYF Development Nigeria Limited. He served the Akwaibum State Government as special assistant to the state governor on due process and technical matters between 2015 and 2019 
Engineer Ekpeyong Ekpeyong has left indelible marks in the lives of many persons. He remains a force to reckon with, hence this invaluable recognition with the Presidential Award. Speaking on the theme of the conference, Expansion of the Energy Mix for National Economic Growth, the Chairman Conference Planning Committee, Engineer Echido Iyang, FNSC, said. I need to say that um, when you look at the expansion of energy mix, it was, it was well thought out, you know. So there's already energy mix in, in the industry in Nigeria, but we should expand. You know, so if we want to go nuclear, we go nuclear. Take care of all the environmental issues. You know, and there are people that could be receptive to that. But it's only when you don't have the safety factors. You know, that's when nuclear becomes a, an issue. Uh, then you talk about um, we should be able to sectionalize it. In the north, there's a lot of wind. You know, there's a lot of uh, sun. You know, solar. And then in the south, south, there's a lot of gas. You know, to drive the turbine. You know, these are the kind of things that we're going to look at. You know, uh, 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 fossil fuel. You know, eliminations and all of that. You know, so um, uh, we in engineering, Nigerian State of Engineers, are looking at contributing. You know, when once we have. Uh, the issues, discuss challenges, profile solution to it, and then come up with a white paper to the federal government. You know that will help the economy to grow because people that, when once you are able to have cheaper, you know energy, you know the industry will thrive and um, the economy will boom. Engineers are reputed to be problem solvers in the society. This much has been re-echoed by the Chairman Conference Planning Committee, Engineer Etido Ian, FNSC. We have a lot of confidence that um, uh, the power situation in Nigeria, if government collaborates with engineers, will have a solution to it. Some Akwaibum citizens at the event bared their minds on the event and its implication for the state and her people. I want to commend other young, the youths, to equally, you know, come along, follow suit, so that at least we can be many in this part of, uh, you know, what what we have. We have more of the western and north, but I want to commend the southerners to equally join more and more of them, so that we can be more as well in this uh, Nigerian society of engineers. And I congratulate them for uh, making us proud in Akwaibu. Uh, it's a good thing uh, that Akwaibum people are being recognized, so I'm very, very happy. Congratulations. I must also thank the Nigerian Society of Engineers, the President, for finding it a living fit to work with uh, those sons of Akwaibum states. I congratulate him, I congratulate all the engineers that have found time to attend this year's conference. May God bless them and serve them, journey back to their own different destinations. Congratulations to the trio of engineers Uwem Okoko, FNSC, engineer Ekpeyong Ekpeyong, and engineer Etido Iyang, FNSC. Akwaibum to the world. To God be the glory.